Welcome back. We're here continuing our Balboa series, but first we've got a couple people to thank who've been showing their support by either donating, um, getting lessons, things like that. Yeah, two very uh, special friends made uh, donations this week. It was awesome. Thank you so much. For today's lesson, we are working on the come around. The come around is a very fundamental move to Balboa, and it's how we generate a lot of energy, momentum. I, it's definitely a staple, so we look forward to teaching this to you. Yeah. It's a good way to get in and out of moves, so come arounds are really important. Let's go and demonstrate this first. Uh, we'll take it from, I'm just going to use a down basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's break down the footwork. For the follower's footwork uh, for the come around, we're stepping forward on one, two, then I'm going to rotate to my right on three, and then as the leader comes through uh, all the way around, we're just going to rotate to our right, five, six, and then stepping forward, seven. Now what's important here is that the degree of rotation will change depending on the lead, the speed of the song, where they're trying to face, all that stuff. So every time I step down, I'm trying to move forward. So as you'll notice, I'm trying to keep to the inside of the center of the circle. So I'm going one, two, I'm moving forward on three as best I can, depending on how far the leader rotates. And I keep trying to move forward as the lead rotates. Five, six, and at this point they've stopped rotating. I'm gonna step forward in more of a straight line. From this direction, I'm gonna step forward. One, two, three, keep it rotating. Five, six, seven. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Leader's footwork for the come around. It starts off like a regular basic as we go one, two. Then on three, I'm going to step around with the follow, keeping the follow off to my right side. As I move into three, the follow should be stepping right between my feet. As I keep rotating on five as we've held four, then I keep moving six as I open my feet up again and then I step back seven. Let's try that again. I'm going one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Again, one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. One, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. From a different direction, Leaders were going one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. One more time from the back. One, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven. Now that we all know our footwork, leaders, what you're going to do is step back and then together, just like you normally would, step together. Then I'm going to take my left foot and I'm going to move my whole left side towards the follow, and I want the follow right here to step right under my feet. So we'll do that again. Or sorry, not under my feet, um, between my feet. <laughs> One, two, three, and then I keep riding that energy out, sending my left side into it, as I then go five, six, and then as I move into seven, I just take that energy and step straight back, and then I can move into my next move. One, two, three, five, six, seven, here we go. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Anything that the balls are going through? Uh, <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much. Uh, uh, typically, uh, we're keeping that right foot in the middle, like Joel was saying. Um, I am not thinking about foot placement necessarily, where I'm trying to put my foot, but I'm always trying to keep that inward connection with the leader, and that's going to keep my right foot traveling to the inside of the circle. So if you'll notice, I'm not trying, can we actually do this kind of mm -hmm. open? I'm not trying to bring my foot around, go ahead and jump in. I'm not trying to turn myself. It's a lot bigger. Right. I'm trying to step into the leader, and that's going to naturally put my foot right in between his. Five, six. Um, this reminds me of like a, a similar dynamics to that of the swing around in the sense where we're always staying offset uh, and the follows are always keeping their right foot in the center of the rotation. 
Yeah, like four of us hang out. Or maybe more like a uh, mini circle. Mini circle, yeah. yeah. Um, but leaders, as you're going through, you're just doing kind of this pizza french fry thing. Yeah. And then on the very end, just bailing. And then falls, you're just keeping that foot right yeah. down there. Throw a little basketball to it. Um, it almost works better. It falls, you don't try to make the come around happen. And you just ride it out. And yeah. the leads, you can experiment with different distances and like how much you want to rotate. Right, because when I'm trying to move forward always, then the leader has something to move, and uh, my energy ends up kind of playing into the rotation as well. So if I'm trying to pull out of it or turn myself, we lose that uh, that energy and that connection throughout the move, so it makes it tougher. Let's go ahead and show it one more time. Cool. One, two, three, five. I'll do an up basically before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Cool. If you like what we are doing, what we're showing, if you want to see anything specific in Delbo or really any other dance, um, be sure to comment below. Uh, check out this link if you want to support us making some more videos until we can all get back to normal. Yes. Thank you so much.